Yeah, my chair. It is still the Legends Cup 2020. It is semi-final day here at the Agegi Soccer Temple. And we have the first semi-final of the day between the Charles and FC and Box to Box Football Club. Uh, it's been an ent entertaining fixture so far. Uh, we've seen brilliant football in action from both teams, but I can tell you it is 1-0 for Box to Box. They got an early penalty, which was converted by Andrew Michael, also known as Ben Tege. So after the goal, it's been an even game from both teams so far, and uh, box to box, getting the most chances. And they are still 1-0 up over the Charles and FC, and uh, we are waiting to see the response from the Charles and how they can be able to come back to get themselves back in the game. So it is 1-0 for box to box so far in the game, as we have the ball with the goalkeeper now. Tries to see what he's doing with the ball, plays the ball down to his captain. And like I said, talking about the game, it's been it's been an entertaining affair so far. And box to box, trying to, you know get the second goal to add to their lead, but the Charles and still trying to create their first real chance of the game. And box to box, since they scored, they've gotten the best chance of the game so far. You know, a goal to their name from the penalty spot and hitting the woodwork from a long range effort from left back she to the number three jersey. Now Charles and with the ball in the midfield. Now a cross foot ball finds the midfielder and the high foot there. And the referee calls out a free kick for the Charles and right in their own half. As they try to see how they can come back in this game, um, box to box, we try to hold on to their slender lead they have so far in the game. And um, free, free kick quickly taken in the middle, and Charles and with the ball now as they try to come forward. The ball still in the middle of the pitch, and it's squared on to the side to the right back, who tries to surge forward with the ball. He finds the number one jersey. He moves into midfield and across the ball down to the other flank to the guy on the number three and he plays across into the box and oh he couldn't get the man and box to box as he tried to get on the attack of their own a straight ball down to the attack but it was a ball on the run for jerry but he couldn't hold on to the ball and uh he tried to signal for a throwing but the ball is still in play and uh, a miss kick from the goalkeeper but uh, luckily for him they're still with the ball in possession, and uh, here they come again, the Charles Ann, as they try to you know, get on the attack once again. But they are not just putting their passes together and box to box, win the ball again, but giving it away straight back to the defender for Charles Ann. And yet again, they lose the ball in the middle of the pitch, but this time the record blows for a free kick for the Charles Ann FC. Now the referee brings out a yellow card for decent for the captain of box to box football club. Now the Charles Ann, a free kick for them in the middle of the pack. Taken by the captain and the ball is on the right hand side. Uh, just to put it clear, the Charles Ann, they have done in the green jersey on the black shot, playing from left to right. And for box to box, they are on blue blue jerseys and also black shot, but with the blues, blue striped by the side, they play from right to left so it is still one nil courtesy of a been taken penalty at the early stages of the first half so one nil so far for box to box as they still lead in this encounter it is the legends cup semi-final match one here at the agege soccer temple one nil so far for box to box and the jazz and still trying to do what they can to get themselves back in the game uh, that's a little kick from the left back for box to box and the referee awards a free kick for the jazz and right in the half of box to box so what can they do from this set piece number 11 jesse sets the ball trying to go long into the box and that is what he did but straight on to the box to box defender as he clears off the line but he couldn't go and still with the ball uh in the air now for charles and 
Showing now for box to box uh, as they try to recover from that quick attack from the Charles Ann. Uh, no clear cut chances from after the first goal from both teams so far. Uh, aside the hood work being hit by box to box, that has been the only real clear. As we have a man down for box to box, he's feeling his groin as you can see from his gesture, trying to hold his groin. Uh, the medics will try to come on and see how they can try to assist and help him with some little treatment. As the team doctor runs into the pitch, the physio to see what he can do. Uh, as the number five, Jesse Hill is going down for box to box now. The play has been temporarily dropped. Um, maybe a little bit of time for both managers to you know, dish out instructions to their teams. Um, as you can see, the coach of box to box on the sideline is dishing out instructions to his team on how they can further, maybe further improve their lead in the game. And as for the Charles Ann, the manager as well, trying to talk to his team and how they can get back into the game. So it, it, it's been uh, an even game so far, besides the goal that's the first goal's team. Uh, from a penalty, you want to say a bit, a bit contentious penalty as um, the player for box to box went down in the box, but it is still the only goal that separates both sides so far in the game. Uh, number five, Jesse, who was down, is currently back on his feet and being aided by the team to down to the touchline and hopefully he can be able to carry on with the game. And he looks like he can carry on actually, so he's just trying to get himself together. Um, the good thing is he's back on his feet, he, he knows where he is at the moment. So but he's been told to go down again and um, rest a bit, rest his body a little. We'll see if he can be able to come on. But uh, Cave, uh, the referee has called for the resumption of play. So it's a throwing for the Charles Ann FC. Throwing taken and uh, they have the ball down the, on the front with the number 11 jersey. Now the captain has scored the ball and uh, a very interception. Three jersey for box to box. Um, another throwing for the Charles Ann. What can they pull off on this? Now it's uh, the Charles Ann. Now, now they come on the attack. Now they have the ball in the middle of the park, but uh, a straight pass intercepted by the box to box. Ben Seke, Jack, Ben Seke, Ben Seke. Now he's trying to throw the, bring the pass down. We see our box to box to box. And here they come again. A cross thrown in. Uh, but an easy catch for the goalkeeper for box to box as they try to move the ball quickly as they can to get on the attack again. But he just delayed a bit and uh, tried to slow the game down a bit. So a short throw down to his centre back, number 16 Jesse. For box to box, number 18 Jesse, I beg your pardon. But still to the goalkeeper who misuses his kick straight out uh, into the stand and the throw. It's a free kick for the Charles Ann. Now this is right at the edge of the box. And uh, what can the Charles Ann pull from this? Uh, as a number 14 Jesse, who gets on this one. So it's going to be an outswinger. And um, can they get an equalizer from this? Uh, seven players in the box for the Charles Ann, hoping to convert this one. And the free kick is taken across into the middle but fine clearance from the box to box defender and a chance for a shot but it's just hit high up over the bar so um, a shot off target for the Charles and, and it is still you know no goal for the Charles and FC and it's still one nil in favor of box to box so far in this one so a goal kick as the goalkeeper hits this one long uh, for a battle in the middle for the line kick box to box strike at the number 26 jersey he loses the ball now, box to box, have the ball in possession now in the middle of the pack, down to the left back. Uh, number three left back with the ball now, but he wins the throwing of the ball at the Charles and attacker. So it's a throwing for the box, for box to box from the club. Um, they're still trying to keep it simple, keep it tight, keep holding on to their lead, and hopefully they can get another one. So the Charles and now with the ball, and um, they're still struggling to create clear chances in this one. 
they have the ball still in possession with the ball in the middle of the park and uh, see how the ball now now it's the ball with the winger now he tries to beat his man but you know brilliant tackle from another free kick uh, in similar position right from the same position like they had the previous time hopefully they try to get one better this time out and they still the number of the just losing and have another chance to swing this one into the box and hopefully they convert Still 1 0 in favor of Vox Vox right here at the Agege Southern Circle. Remember, it is the Legends Cup semi final match. Pitch to one. He falls in and uh, a header from the Charles and goes just off wide of the post. And at least it is better than the previous opportunity. So, um, uh, one real chance for the Charles and good, good cross this time from the number 15 jersey of Bonga James. Or, or, you know, but the header just couldn't hit the target and it was just right off over and uh, the Charles and here they come again with the ball and they have another free kick right at the edge of the box it was a foul it was a foul from the box box defender and they have a chance to go direct a goal from this set piece it is a free kick but the players are trying to you know, talk to the referee that foul wasn't a foul but the referee has made up his mind it is given it is a free kick right at the edge of the box for the Charles and FC and this looked pretty convertible if if hit well and um, clear opportunity for the Chaps and to get a equalizer in this game and it's, it's still the number 14 jersey Obonga James who is likely to get on this one has his position the ball trying to make his decision and see where to go on from this one uh, the goalkeeper for box to box needs to I and mean, we'll see how he what he can do to keep this one in check make sure this one doesn't go in uh, three players for the Charles and two players are going to pass and stand on over the ball and it, 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 it likely it's going to be Ogunga James who is going to hit this one it is pretty close to go and looks like a clear opportunity it was Ogunga James uh, but it was a straight save from the goalkeeper who just punches the ball right over the bar it is three minutes of other time to end the first half so what can the Charles and do with the corner straight taken short and it's across into the box but uh, out of the reach of nobody so it is a throwing it came out it was a fleet from the box to box defender so it's going to be a throwing for the Charles and FC as they still trying to get the equalizer at the dying stages of this first half throwing taken now with the captain of the team but uh, they couldn't do nothing as the ball is with box to box now. But it is an arm ball that's the referee called it. So another set piece. They have you know quite a um, quick set piece in place and you know in concession for, for the Charles and FC. Three set pieces in succession, but they just need to convert one of these set pieces now. They have another brilliant opportunity. And uh, Obunga James and Ukwe Onoja, the number eight jersey, standing for the ball now. But this time, Ukwe Onoja is going to play this one right from his left foot. So hopefully, to get better on this one. So Ukwe Onoja standing with the ball now, hoping to take this one for the Cavs and FC. Uh, what can they pull from this one? It's going to be from his left foot. Now, uh, is the goalkeeper tapping to his wall? Kind of position as well, and it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a three-man wall for box to box standing over this one. Uh, what Okwe is gonna do with this one on his left foot for the set piece, three-man wall for box to box. The goalkeeper still gonna put his wall together. Uh, the wall reduces to two, and uh, it's gonna be an in swing out from Okwe, and he crosses the ball. But uh, it was a deflected header and it's going to be a corner kick for the Charles and FC. And getting close to the end of the first for the, fi for the first half, first 30 minutes of the first half. And um, the corner, will they go short in this one? Will they go long? They go short. And 
deal with the ball now, but still trying to play the ball into the box and a quick pass into the Yotunia box. This is man trying to cross in the ball and uh, the ball another corner. Which I was the pressure is really telling from the Jazz and FC. They, they, you know, they put on the pressure in the last five minutes. The Jazz and what can they do with this one? It is a corner kick right now. And it's going to be an outswinger from the left foot of Itonio Mandela. He plays an outswinger into the box, but it was a really poor corner kick. But another deflected clearance from box to box and it is another corner kick they really had quite a lot of set piece in the closing stages of this first half what can they do they just need to convert one of those set piece opportunities and they have the ball now still another out swinger from the left foot of the Charles Khan midfielder he crosses the ball still another poor corner kick boom here they are with the ball again and they try to come on with the ball. The number 14 Ugunga James with the ball. He plays the ball to Ukwe Onoja. He tries to play to the number 11 jersey but loses the ball to box to box and there's a clearance. The pressure is still on from, from, from the Charles Ann. And the ball has just gone out of the play and the referee blows for a throw. Uh, a bit of a relief. You know, it's been all pressure from the Charles Ann in the last few minutes and um, this throwing will come as a bit of a relief. From the Charles and the box to box, they storm with the throwing, a short throwing down to the defender. And he plays the ball straight to his uh, captain, Ozo. <laughs> his captain, the long Daniel. The long Daniel plays the ball all down to the number 10 jersey. And um, offside says the referee, uh, uh, the signal of his linesman, who waved the flag. So, um, offside there. You know, the counter attack it wasn't going to come sufficient there for the box to box. We just out with the ball now, and uh, the referee blows the whistle for half time right here at the Agigi Soccer Temple Stadium at the Legends Cup semi final one fixture. Uh, it's been a pretty good contest between both teams, and I can tell you it is still box to box who have the clear cut chances so far. They've gotten an early goal, they hit the woodwork. For the Charles and they're trying to get themselves in the game, you know, trying to convert chances after chances. You know, they've put on the pressure in the last five to ten minutes of the first 45 minutes, but it is still box to box to hold on on to the extender lead. So it is half time right here at the Agigi Soccer Temple Stadium. It is the Charles and Neil box to box football club one.
Victor.
Hello, Chino. Hello. Alright, we're back on the pitch at the Agege Soccer Temple for the second half. It is still the Legends Cup semi-final match, the one fixture box to box against the Charles and FC and it's still 1-0 in favor of box to box as both teams are back on the pitch as we get set for the second 45 and uh, box to box waiting to get us on the way as um, Jerry is in the middle of the park to kick us off uh, what the coaches have told your players at the, uh, you know at the dressing room Maybe the drawing board, uh, what are they going to come up with in this second 45? For box to box, it is more like keeping the lead, and uh, yeah, it's a slender lead actually. But for Charles and they will look to get back on into the game as they the currently trail by one goal to nil. Just to run down again, the the starting lineup for both teams for box to box, we have uh, Victor Egbon in goal, we have Dalong Daniel, the captain. Uh, Austin Harrison, Femi Oladende, Hende Rashid, Olale Kong Badamosi, Babatunde Shitu, Ubi Jerry, Michael Andrew, Isa Said, and Tunji Omotosho. Right for the substitute, we have Duro Simira, Fuse, Saliu Ishak, Chibweze, Ewunze, Olayin Kagbola, Hong Paul, Indubisi, Ahisu Peter, and Richard Emadume. And for the Charles and FC, we have Onyama Akpa in goal. We have Izzy. Chinedu, Abib, Alimi, Ismaila Yusuf, Ifanyi Oche, Obonga James, Ozo Chika, the captain, and we have Lati, Akola Wale, we have Okwe Onoja, Itodo Mandela, Adeshina Odunto, right? For the substitute for the Charles Ann, we have Oyedele Bayo, Habib Lawal, Omotosha Sodik, Nwake Ike, Israel Ruben, Shehu Abdul Wahab, and Ashekun Samo. Uh, the second half on the way, and um, it's a free kick for box to box right in their own half as they try to get us in goal. Uh, we have the number 15 jersey with the ball trying to play the ball long into the box 18 for the Charles Ann and it's the Charles Ann with the ball now as they try to come forward and uh, we have the right back with the ball, he beats his man, tries to come forward with the ball and he plays a long one down. Um, but a brilliant challenge from the captain for box the ball, but he loses the ball again and the referee signals for a free kick and it's a foul in favor of the Charles and that was a foul from the long Daniel the captain for box to box and uh, a set piece opportunity for the Charles and FC this time it is Ozo Chika the captain of the side standing on this one and uh, we have a player down for box to box but he's back on his feet trying to see what he can do with this one it is Baba Tunde Shitu but he's okay to carry on 
And as Charles Ang gets sent for the free kick, quickly taken by the captain into the box for great header. And uh, an overhead kick from Okwe Onoja, but he misses the kick. And uh, Charles Ang still with the ball now. But they play a straight one back into their 18-yard box. And an in twinger into the forward positions. But here they come box to box, win the ball again. And uh, uh, the Charles Ang goes to the ball again. And the captain of the side is still with the ball. He plays a long one. For uh, a clearance from Baba Sunde Shitu and uh, box to box here they come with the ball out in the four position. Jerry with the ball now he beats his man and a chance for box to box and uh, a brilliant save from the Onyama Akpa, the goalkeeper. A quick reflexes to save the ball and get back on his feet to prevent the rebound for box to box. Um, a substitute for box to box. So a quick change there. We have Durosimir Afiu, who has come on for box to box in number 30 jersey. He had that chance to double the lead for box to box, but just couldn't beat the goalkeeper in goal. Onyama Akpa for the Chalasan FC. And box to box, here they come again across into the box and trying to find Durosimir Afiu. But great header clearance by the Charles and defender. Box to box now still with the ball. Benteke loses the ball but regains it back. And here he comes forward with the ball. He plays the ball down to the middle of the pitch for his number five Jesse Benteke with the ball. But a quick shot. And that was a straight save for Onyama Akpa in goal for the Charles. And now box to box getting those shots on target. Uh, they've started brightly in the second 45. Uh, trying to double their lead. And um, it's not so guaranteed when you lead 1-0 uh, at the early stages of the second 45 in the game but you know they've started the second half rightly you know not looking to sit back to hold on to a lead but they're looking to add another goal to add to the elite so it's um it's been a, a good start for box to box for the Charles and they need to you know show bravery in the second 45 how they can come on and get that equalizer so a throwing for the Charles and right in their own half Throwing taken and uh, a flick on from the number 11 jersey who tries to find Ope Onoja. But the ball now with that long down there who clears it long forward straight into the half of the Charles Ann. <coughs> and here they come again, try to build from the back. The Charles Ann FC Ope Onoja with the ball now. He plays a quick one two with his right back, but uh, just couldn't work for them there. A heavy touch from the right back. And uh, the ball goes for a throw in for box to box as we are about to see a double substitution for the Charles Ann. Hopefully these have a huge impact in the game. So it is the number 21 Jesse who comes on. Number 29 Jesse who comes on. I beg your pardon for the Charles Ann. And it is Oye Dele Bayo. And the number 17 Jersey as well, who is Israel Ruben. You know, double substitution now for the Charles Ann. Oye Dele Bayo and Israel Ruben are on the field for the Charles Ann. Hopefully, they make a difference for them in the game. But it is another player down for box to box. It is Olan Likong by the Mossi. He goes down uh, a bit of a cramp for, for them, and the referee stops play as the medics attend. So Bada Mossi who currently lies down on the turf as the there's been an activity in the bench for box to box and uh, we've seen the coach coach Randy of box to box trying to talk to a substitute player who was about to come on I think for for Bada Mossi who's currently down on the turf we don't think he'll be able to continue so the number 17 jersey for box to box Yusuf Tohib you know, we'll try to come on for box to box. Yusuf Tohib, number 17 jersey, trying to warm up for box to box. And but Amosi uh, won't be able to continue in this game as he holds his groin. But first off, we're going to see another change for the Charles Ann FC. Uh, it's the third substitution in the game for the Charles and <coughs> three substitutions so far in the game for the Charles and FC. Uh, it's the number 10 jersey for the Charles and
So uh, the game continues before we just see that substitution. So it's a throw-in for box to box. A short throw-in taken and uh, Durosimir a few with the ball. He holds the play very well. And the ball is back to Shito with the ball. He plays a long one into the middle of the pitch. But um, Issa Saeed couldn't get hold of the ball. And uh, here they come, J. Charles. And brilliant control from the winger. He tries to beat his man. What can he do here? He plays a shot with his left foot and uh, it was just wide, just wide. Brilliant try from the Charles and uh, just wide, just wide there. That was an, uh, uh, the closest they've gotten so far to getting an equaliser in this second 45 minutes. Uh, and uh, we've seen changes for the Charles and Okwe Onoja taking off for the Charles and, and the number 10 jersey now comes on. Uh, the captain of the side, Ozo Chika, is being taken off. And uh, is Weke Ike comes on for the Charles Ann. Uh The three substitutions for the Charles Ann so far, we we waiting to see what changes they can have in the game. And here they come, the Charles Ann, they win the ball. And ah, a caller with the left foot for the Charles Ann and a brilliant save. From Victor Egmont in goal for box to box. They didn't see that coming box to box. They were expecting the ref to give them a foul, but the ref waves play on and the shot just couldn't beat the goalkeeper. Egmont in goal for box to box. So a corner taken quickly, and here they come again. Just an uh, brilliant read of the game from the long Daniel, the captain of the side. He plays a long one into the box, but Charles Ann with the ball again. Box to box giving the ball away cheaply now. And Charles Ann with the ball now. They get a free kick for a foul. The Charles Ann now a set piece for the Charles Ann. What can they make of this one? He goes short to AZ Chinedu, the number two jersey in defense. He plays the ball to his partner, Api Balimi. Api Balimi squares for his left back, Ifani Ochi. Um, but they lose the ball again, and um, but they got a throw-in. A throw-in for the Charles Ann. Cross field ball and it's a cross into the yard box and uh, we couldn't win the header. Uh, the long Daniel has been at the heart of the defense for box to box, but it was a brilliant clearance. And Durisimi Jai uh, tries to chase that one, but it was headed down to Akpa in goal for the Charles Ann. And here they come again, the Charles Ann, but they're giving the ball away. Now box to box, here they come now, we've been taking with the ball now on the flanks, the number seven jersey. Uh, the Charles on on the attack again. Uh, the deflected ball, that was Shitu there, but that's only Shitu with a brilliant interception in the middle of the pitch. Now Shitu with the ball. Looks up, trying to see who he can play his read, and the long Shitu plays the ball one. And it's one two now. Shitu with the ball again. Brilliant stamina shown by Shitu. And the referee signals for a free kick in favor of Bok to Boss. Great hold of play from Shitu. Free kick now for Box to Box in their own half. As the long goes long, but it's down into the 18 yard box. But the referee signals a free kick. Toyi plays the ball wide off the goal post. So a free kick for the Jazz and in the 18 yard box as Onyema Akpa tries to uh, go long. Plays across with the ball as he finds uh, the man in midfield. But it is back to Onyema Akpa in goal for the Jazz and The Jazz and you know, they've, they've had the chances in the last five minutes of the game. And um, they just couldn't convert, but Onyema Akpa uh, tries to play that one long, but couldn't meet his man. As you're about to see another change from both team. Number six, Jesse Paul in the BC, who is about to come on for box to box. So while for the Chelsea and Omotoshan Sadiq. 
zone in the pitch for the Charles and FC. Jerry is a player who's been taken off for box to box as um, Paul Indubisi comes on and here he is to take the throw. Um, Paul Indubisi with the ball throws to Benteke but he's been punished for a nudge on Ismaila Yusuf, the Charles Ann player and uh, free kick for the Charles Ann in their own yard box and uh, here they come again in the middle of the pitch. Uh, but they'll be giving the ball away to box to box. Uh, Kainde Rashid, break, great play from Kainde Rashid. And then tries to hold that ball in the midfield, but plays the ball again to Austin Harrison. Four box to box. Austin Harrison, the left back, wins the throw in. And he throws the ball quickly to Toyi Jusuf. Toyi Jusuf chested down to Austin Harrison again. Toyi Jusuf with the ball again. Trying to beat his man. Uh, Shito with the ball now plays it back to, to the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper goes long down to the middle. And the ball now is with Juro Samira Few. Tries to go for the header, but uh, loses that one. Uh, Juro Samira Few has been energetic since coming on. But, you know, he just he had a brilliant chance to double the lead for box to box, but just couldn't cover that chance. Now he's the captain of the ball who just couldn't watch his side and he loses the ball cheaply to box to box and it is the number 15 jersey with the ball now and he plays the ball now to Toyib Yusuf is one on one with the defender now what can he do here he plays the ball to Austin Harrison who plays a crossfit ball into the box and the ball is back onto the number 22 jersey but uh, it was a heavy touch and it's a goal kick brilliant defender from the Chas and Defender, they just can't afford to concede another goal. The Charles and they just can't afford to concede another goal. Uh, if they could concede another goal, it just tends their hope of you know sealing that comeback. But here they come with the ball again and uh, a foul from Benteke. The Charles and won a free kick right in the in their own half and free kick taking long, uh, easily given back to box to box. Now it is zero semi. Rafi just couldn't, you know, get the control right, and he loses the ball again to the Charles Ann. Here they tr try to come again, trying to build from the back, and uh, it's ball given away, uh, but it's been one back. Um, but the referee signals that for a foul on Benteke, so it's a free kick for box to box, right in the half of the Charles Ann. FC as Babach Tunde Shito stands over this one. Uh, he plays the ball down to Durashimi, but the referee calls that to be taken again. That was Paul in the BC, I beg your pardon. So um, <coughs> Shito is going to take that again. This time he goes to the middle and uh, finds the defender, number 18 jersey, Femi Oladende. But um, it is um, Austin Harrison who couldn't get reached to the ball. So uh, it's the Charles and now they get a throw in. I'm sorry, it's a throw in for box to box. And Austin Harrison stands over this one. Uh, he's going to take the throw in. He plays the ball to Yusuf Toyib. Back with Austin Harrison. A quick one too with um, Yusuf Toyib. But just couldn't get the pass right. Uh, it is the Charles and now with the ball. Long ball forward. And. Um, Striker trying to hold the ball, but the referee has signaled a free kick in favor of box to box for shed pulling. As you can see from the demonstration of the referee, that was a shed pull. So, um, free kick for box to box in their own half uh, as they try to slow the game down, take it easy. So, free kick from Ola Day Day tries to find Benteke, he tries to knock the ball down for Yusuf Tohi, but just couldn't get it properly. Uh, Austin with the ball now, plays back to his goalkeeper Victor Egon. It's back to Babatin Deshito in the middle of the pitch. He beats his man with ease and tries. Plays the ball to Austin Harrison. Austin Harrison comes forward with the ball now and brilliant tackle, brilliant tackle from the Charles and defender. And here they come, flick on from the striker. But uh, it's ball given away for the Charles and but the goalkeeper read that properly and clears the ball right off danger. Uh, 
so a throwing we will award it for the Charles Ann. And we have another player down for box to box. We've seen a couple of your players go down. Uh, uh, a bit of cramp for them, but I think he's back on his feet. That's Austin Harrison as he sprints down to his left back position. And the Charles Ann, here they come now. They have the ball on the flank. Across play into the 18 yard box and the short, but uh, just wide. And that was just wide. Great attempt from the Charles Ann. Just couldn't get that one on target. So a goal kick will be awarded to box to box. It is still 1 0 in favor of box to box. Cutsy of, uh, of a Michael Andrew penalty at the early stages of the first half. Uh, known as Benteke. That's the goal separating both sides so far in the game. As we are yet to see a goal in the second half. <coughs> Austin Harrison plays a long one. As Toib chases the ball, but uh, just couldn't get that one. So it's a goal kick. The Charles Ann now, here they come, try to view it from back. Uh, they have the ball now. Ball in the middle, quick one, two. Uh, the long with the ball now. Uh, here they come again. Uh, that was a foul. The referee signals a foul for box to box. The Charles and coach isn't too pleased with that decision by the referee. He's been dramatic on the touch line. Uh, he's not too pleased with that decision from the referee as um, box to box has been awarded a free kick there. Um, but Watunde Shitu still down holding his left leg. Um, but he's back on his feet. Uh, we also have Yusuf Tohib as well down on the far side. As the the team Fisio for boxing ball runs into the pitch to attend to Yusuf Tohib. Uh, maybe this is a bit of game management for box to box trying to you know uh, while away the time as they still lead by one goal to nil. And uh, the Charles M players aren't too pleased with that. They're trying to talk to the referee to you know talk to the players to play the game to get the ball rolling. Yusuf Toyib still sitting on the top as the medics attend to him as his player. Isa Saeed runs to check to see if there is any support he can offer to Yusuf Toyib who is still currently down. I think the referee I is going to add a couple of uh, at a time after the stipulated one when we come to the end of the second 45 because uh, it's been a bit of time wasting so far for the box to box players as we see the number 27 jersey warming up on the sideline. Salu Ishak. I don't know. We're going to see. Are we going to see a change here? And Yusuf Taib. Taib is still down. It's still down as the players are. Uh, Surrounding the referee, <laughs> and uh, the team physio has accompanied Yusuf Toib down to the sidelines. As we are waiting to see if that will result in a substitution for box to box. So, free kick for box to box ready to be taken now. Uh, Yusuf Toib off the pitch. Getting the attendance from the team Fisio. So free kick taken from the long right and the half from box to box and uh header for Dura Samira few straight at the goalkeeper on Yama Akpa for the Charles and FC and here they come with the ball now in the middle of the pitch. Here they come, brilliant pass down to the flanks now. And here is the ball on the byline now. What can he do here? Trying to do some step bars to beat his man, but the pass was too short. And here they come again. But the referee has signaled for 
a handball from the Charleston player. So a free kick awarded to box to box right in their own half as the goalkeeper Victor Egbon will take this one. He's going to take his time on this one. Uh, box to box trying to take the game slowly. Uh, they're trying to give. They're not trying to give things away easily. Uh, so here they come now. Victor Egbon. What can he do here? He goes long. Uh, so here they come now. The Charles and trying to move forward with the ball. And trying to miss his man, but brilliant, brilliant tackle from Paul in the BC for box to box. Clears the ball for a throw in for the Charles and uh, brilliant clearance now from Drusimi again, but the control was poor from the Charles and so it gives a throw in cheaply to box to box. So it's a throw in now for box to box. Throwing taking Jerusalem in Jayu with the ball now, but that's a free kick. I, I think his hold up play has been brilliant since coming onto the piece. Juris me a few the number 30 jersey for box to box. He's tall, he, he knows how to shield the ball very well. And he's just shielded the ball now from the chance and defender. And he has won a free kick for box to box. And uh, Isa stands over this one, but he just walks away from the ball. Uh, for Kendi Rashid who takes this one then take it with the header now Oyama Akpa misses the ball and uh, Durasimi Drafiu couldn't get quickly to the rebounds as uh, he hits the arm of Oyama Akpa who is currently rolling in pains on the floor as the referee blows that for a free kick Oyama Akwa, he did so poorly with the catch there, but quick to react with the rebounds to put the ball in his bosom. But he was fouled by Duro Simira Few. The Charles and goalkeeper is still on the floor, reeling in pains as the team physio for the Charles and runs onto the pitch to attend to him. Uh, we hope he recovers from this to continue, but uh, Oyama Akba is um, back on his feet now. He looks okay to continue. So free kick ready to be taken. Oyama Akba, he goes short to his centre back and the centre back goes long ball straight at Harrison who has the ball cleared and the just on here they come again uh, another poor control she took the ball now it goes back to a Ladain Day in defence Ladain Day plays the ball to his left back Austin Harrison Austin Harrison plays one but the ball has gone out for a throw in in favor for the Charles and the Charles and really have um, what uh, you know they would be looking at this game to see and uh, they would say to themselves this is a game we can get back on it's just one goal so far separating both sides and uh, they can really get back on this game if they can be able to put some passes together and hold the ball properly that's a foul there Foul on Oladain Day right there. Um, foul taken. Foul in the BC trying to search forward. Ball gives the ball straight away to the Charles Ann. And the defender trying to throw the pass. But the pass was overheat as the ball goes out for a box to box throw in. In the BC Paul with the throw down to Jerusalem, a few. Tries to do a one-two with Isa, but great interception from the Charles and defender. And here they come, Charles and both. They got a free kick. That was a foul 
foul on Lati Akola Wale. Tells on to Babatin De Shitu. Now here they come. They have been Babatin De Shitu. Uh, been right in the middle of the park for box to box. And um, Tells on. Here they come again. Moving forward with the ball. Uh, what can they do here? A quick one, two. Bonga James. <laughs> they come forward now. Uh, pass over heat, but the attacker just couldn't hold on to the ball, and the goalkeeper, Engbon Vito, rush forward to to claim that one. Vito Engbon goes long. He finds Isa Mohammed. Isa Saeed, I beg your pardon, in the middle of the park, who tries to shield the ball, but Isa Saeed wins the free kick. So, a free kick, four box box right in their own half. As, um, the long Daniel stands over this one. As we see the referee comes over to the touch line for for box to box. Come on, Vito, come on. The referee has signaled for one of the backroom staff for box to box to go over to the stands to see the game. As play continues, a long one into the 18 yard box and an easy catch for Oyama Akba. And box to box, they've won the ball again. Duris Rafu plays a cross feed pass to Toyib Yusuf, but just couldn't make that one. <coughs> Tass on with the ball now. We're still with the ball now, he beats Shitu. He plays a cross feed pass, but just couldn't find. The intended target, Austin Harrison. Austin Harrison comes over the ball. And Juris Simira, a few with the ball now. He comes forward. What can he do here? And uh, he misses the pass. It's getting intense now. And. Uh, a ball for the Charles and and the challenge from the goalkeeper and what would the referee say? The referee waves play on as the Charles and Ben screamed for an infringement there. But here they come again, Charles Ann finds his man. Still with the ball now, tries to drive me to a business man and wins the ball, but they're still with the ball now. Cross plays into the 18 yard boss, but an easy catch for the goalkeeper, Victor. Eggbone as he holds the ball down. Trying to take his time with this. And uh, he rolls onto the floor. Uh, uh, the Charles Ann bench, not too impressed with that one. Seems to be a bit of time wasting for the box to box player. As you see, Victor Egbo who goes down and is. Still down as the team fees you rush onto the pitch <coughs> to attend to him. I'm sure the referee will look at his watch and um, anticipating uh, uh, a huge chunk of added minutes. As we approach the end of this second 45. Still 1 0 in favor of box to box in this encounter. Could see over Michael Andrew penalty at the early stages of the first 45. Of the first half. That goal, the only goal so far, separating both teams. Uh, 
Victor Agbon doesn't look like he will be able to carry on. As we see, the substitute goalkeeper, Chief Wese in Wese, being told to warm up on the touchline for box to box. Uh, Victor Agbon doesn't seem like he's going to continue on this one. He's still down receiving treatment from the medics for box to box. Chaps and not really done so much, not really created so much chances to get that equalizer. They still trail by one goal to nil, and uh, they will look maybe look at themselves and uh, you know say they should have done better so far in this game. They just haven't created so much clear cut chances in the second half, and uh, Victor Egbon is back on his feet. Will he be able to carry on? We are here to see. Uh. So two minutes of normal time left as we approach the close of the second half. So we to Agbo able to carry on now as he plays the ball long into the middle of the park. Uh, the ball now is with a few. Benteke with the ball now. He plays one inside the ball. It was a weak pass. Now just on with the ball now. He tries to come forward. Uh, brilliant crossfield ball, uh, uh, but just couldn't guess his balance after that control. Now it's Toyib you saw for the ball now. Uh, brilliant tackle, brilliant tackle from the right back for the Charles Anne to prevent that attack from coming to fruition. A throwing awarded for box to box. Oxton and Guavon with the throw. Uh, Austin Harrison miscued that one. So a throwing awarded to the Charles Anna, who, and we've just seen the referee signal for four minutes of added time. So four minutes of added time left for the Charles Anne to get themselves back on level terms in this game and to get an equalizer for them. Here they home, they have a throw-in. And uh, a clearance from Paul in the BC. A box to box, another throw for the Charles Ann. Here they come with the ball. And uh, not a clearance again from Baba Tunde Shito. Box to box now on the defensive, now trying to see how they can hold on to their slender lead as we approach the very end of this second half. Now they have a throw in now. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. So four minutes of added time played so far. As the referee signaled, four minutes of added time. Uh, so four minutes left uh, and uh, the Charles Ann still yet still trying to find the target on the closing stages of uh, the second half but here they come again with the ball as they try to see what they can do here now they have the ball in the beach now uh, the ball plays to the side now for the attacker but they're giving it easily and uh, that's a free kick uh, in favor of box to box and uh, they will have to take their time again it is the closing stages of the game as we've seen the coach of box to box coach Ruben signal to the players to you know to calm things down and to take their time. And it's a yellow card awarded to the Charles and player for that foul on Kane De Rashid for 
box to box, but uh, he's back on his feet now. Uh, so free kick out it to box to box in their own half. Uh, what would they do here? So um, Austin Harrison leaves the ball for Aladdin D, who will step up to take this one. And uh, then it goes long, goes long, but straight at the chest and player. But they've given it away again. And here they come now uh, with the ball. You swoop to Aib with the ball and go, but the linesman sitting out for an offside there. So offside for the chest and, and the free kick awarded. Now. Uh, They've given the ball away cheaply. Now uh, here they come again, box to box, being taken with the ball now on the byline. Now uh, tries to while away the time. Uh, he's surrounded by three Charles and player, but giving it away. And Charles Ann with the ball now, here they come. Mm, it goes long forward. And uh, Kendi Rashid with that header clearance there and Austin Harrison comes with the ball forward now. Plays a cross feed ball to Benteke and he plays a shot and uh, that was wide for a goal kick for the Charles and approaching the final four, the final minutes of the four minutes at a time. And Charles Ann calm again, but uh, if you want to throw in, Showing goes long, and here they come again. Moves forward with the ball, but brilliant one from the long Daniel. As he plays that one all the way back to the goalkeeper Oyama Akpa. And there it is, it is the final whistle. The referee has called it. It is full time here at the Agege Soccer Temple. Just a solitary goal separating both sides. Cutsy of that first half. Andrew Michael penalty. It was the only goal of the game. It was scored at the early stages of the first half. For box to four, they had a couple of opportunities to double their lead. They hit the woodwork. They had some clear cut chances. And for all the Charles and they couldn't create enough in this game. They had a few shots on target, but um, the goalkeeper Victor Egbon in goal for box to box kept them in the game and uh, box the box for pretty much in the second 45 uh, they were trying to you know handle the game maintain the game properly but uh, here we have it is a full time here at the Agege Soccer Temple it is the Legends Cup uh, semi-final fixture one full time at the Agege Soccer Temple it is the Charles and Neil box to box FC one <laughs>